I am Pınar. Uh, I am a recent postdoctoral graduate at MIT Media Lab, and I am currently leading uh, AI fiction, which is um, <clears throat> AI fiction, which is a collective of artists and artisans where we are collaborating with AI to create beautiful things. But before I start my talk, I would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, the first one is, did you like my dress? Yeah. And uh, and uh, what about my necklace? Or if we got a chance to chat before my talk, maybe you like my perfume, how I smell like. Okay, before this goes any weirder than this, all of these creations, my dress, my necklace, my perfume, and many more things that I will showcase today are created as a result of a collaboration between humans and artificial intelligence. And uh, in the last couple of months, we are uh, running a project called How to Generate Almost Anything, inspired by Neil Gershenfeld's uh, famous How to Make Almost Anything class. And so far, we collaborated with uh, fashion designers, we collaborated with pizza chefs, we collaborated with graffiti artists, we collaborated with bartenders, um, musicians, we collaborated with uh, perfume experts, uh, playwrights, chocolate artisans, uh, poets, and uh, jewelry makers to create uh, beautiful forms of art as a result of a collaboration between humans and AI. And in all of these projects, um, we created AI systems where it uh, give new design suggestions to our collaborators, and they look at these um, weird creations, and they interpret it what kind of things they can create with. They add their own inspiration, their own insight and experience, and they made something real uh, out of it. So I will talk uh, in some of those projects. The first one is how we created this dress. So we use a special algorithm called Generative Adversarial Network. It's a type of AI, uh, which takes um, an input as uh, you know the kind of dresses that you see on the left. Uh, this is the data that we are using. It is um, the cover image of uh, vintage um, magazines from 1950s. So we give the AI these pictures and it learned what kind of features that uh, are unique in this data. So it learned how to uh, you know, create these dresses. And all of these dresses that you see on the right are completely imagined by AI. They don't exist in real life. These images are completely you know, created by this AI system. So what we did is we collaborated with a fashion designer, Agnes Cameron, who is also a graduate student at Media Lab. And she looked at uh, some of the AI-generated designs, and she reinterpreted those. And she created this um, actual dresses that you see on the right. And AI, in this case, is able to come up with some weird suggestions, like a skirt on top of a skirt, or some weird hat, or some baggy pants. And as you see on this uh, you know, weird dress, it also gave us the suggestion of um, Sorry. It also gave us a suggestion of you know, a dress with one uh, bell sleeve and one normal sleeve and with some you know, weird uh, asymmetric details. And I was able to create this dress in real life. And in another collaboration, we collaborated with Erin Ginia, who is a, a jewelry artist for the last 20 years. And uh, similar to the dress one, we created these uh, jewelry designs. And she looked at some of the designs, and she created uh, these uh, you know, beautiful uh, jewelries in real life. On the left, you see the AI-generated design. And we actually go and shop for these uh, materials from Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, my hometown. And then uh, she made these beautiful creations inspired by AI. And what else we did? We did uh, perfumes in real life. Uh, we used uh, one of our friends' lab at Co Institute. And uh, sorry, I'm not sure. What's uh, at Co Institute, and we created an AI that uh, looks at thousands of uh, recipes of perfumes, commercial release perfumes, and it gave us new recipes, new perfume ideas. And then we actually made some of the perfumes in real life, and then we. Uh, you know, ask uh, friends to smell uh, how they uh, smell like, and uh, the result was so interesting. Some people thought it smells like an ice car. Some people thought it smells uh, like a feminine perfume. Oh, she smells pretty good. Yeah, this is George, nice. who, who tried it, and uh, this is uh, someone from the lab. Yeah, it does. It smells really good, yeah. 
Yeah, so in a way, we were actually the first people who smelled this you know, new scent that nobody in the world uh, has smelled before. So this was very uh, powerful. And we also did uh, graffiti. So on the left, you see the graffitis that we feed to the AI. And on the right, you can see the graffitis that AI imagined. And actually, this, is, this shows how AI is uh, dreaming up. And it is, by the way, uh, accompanied by AI-generated music that we did. So all of these are hallucinations by the AI. It creates these beautiful graffiti pieces and we actually uh, collaborated with uh, artist Imagine uh, in Boston to uh, make uh, one of the graffitis in real life at Graffiti Alley in Cambridge and uh, she used one of the AI generated design for the you know coloring scheme of the graffiti but she added a very powerful message to it which uh, you know shows um, the human value in those uh, creations. She wrote, uh, no human being is illegal based on the events uh, in summer uh, between Trump administration and the uh, immigrants. And uh, I think, um, so AI is able to inspire, you know, um, artists to create this beautiful piece, but it still takes a human to add a powerful message to it. So this was an, uh, this, 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 uh, was an interesting collaboration. And another thing that was interesting here was it was not just a collaboration between you know, the artists and the AI, but actually it was a collaboration between thousands of graffiti artists all over the world because we are using their data and AI is analyzing and taking essence of their data to uh, you know, give these suggestions. And uh, Okay, and we did chocolates. So we created uh, chocolate recipes using AI and we collaborated with MIT Lab for Chocolate Science to make the, those in real life. So some of them were really weird, like ginger snap and meat truffle. Some of them was, uh, you know, peppermint and rosemary truffle and so on. Yeah, so there was pots of meat in the truffle. <laughs> Big thumbs up. And uh, we collaborated with uh, a chef from uh, Crush Pizza, and we created uh, different pizzas like shrimp, jam, and Italian sausage pizza, bacon, avocado, and peach pizza, and so on. And you can watch all of these uh, on YouTube, by the way. And we created AI cocktails, and we created even a theater play uh, that was play read at Central Square Theater in uh, Cambridge, where a playwright and an AI wrote a collaborative play together. And uh, we also created uh, human AI collaborated music. Uh, so we did this as a tribute to Mario Minsky's birthday, where we took a piece of Mario Minsky's impro improvisations and we made AI to complete it. So in a way, AI was responding to Marvin. So this was uh, AI's response to Marvin. And we played this beautiful piece on um, MIT Media Lab's basement where uh, on a piano that was actually owned by Marvin Minsky. So this was a collaboration between like Marvin Minsky, Morgan Rivers, our pianist, and uh, the AI system and thousands of artists who contributed to the data as well. So before ending my talk, I would like to thank to all the collaborators in this project. And some of those collaborators are not human. Some of them are actually AI systems. Maybe you will spot who are uh, humans and who are AIs. I will reveal at the end. But in all of these you know, projects, we uh, showcased and we saw so many times that humans and AIs have com um, col complementary skills to each other. So AI systems are very good at, you know, analyzing thousands of and millions of data. It is able to, you know, take the essence of this data and able to suggest unusual uh, creations that inspire artists. And humans, we have, you know, our creativity, our emotions, empathy, critical thinking, and so on. And uh, I think it is very, it's a very powerful combination to bring those two together to create beautiful pieces that we wouldn't be creating otherwise. And these are the AIs that uh, contributed the, to these projects. So none of these people exist in real life, the ones circled with red. Uh, they are also imagined by the AI system, similar to the graffitis and dress designs. And right now, these are just still images, but hopefully in near future, they will be walking among us as collaborators. Thank you. <laughs>